How are you doing, Paul? You good? AJ, yeah, good. From Fire from the Gods. Yes. How are you? Yes. Well, thank you very much. Good. We're uh, here. You're here. Download. Finally. Yes. Finally, with much applause and much to do and much on the on the cards for us, but we made it back, and I'm especially happy having lived in the UK as a kid and having so much connection to England and, and rock music and that. And this is like the OG rock festival, and I'm really, really happy to be yeah. here. Good. That's great to hear. So a couple of years ago, COVID happened. A yes. pandemic got in the way of yes. what I'm sure you had loads of plans for because you, you, released, you released a new record just before. American Sonic come out just before uh, uh, November 2019. Right now was doing really well internationally. I mean, Australia, Germany, UK, in the States, Canada, Mexico. We were really onto something. And... But I tell you, as, as much as it took out of us and as much as it took out of me personally, we were able to weather the storm, stay together as a band, yep. and create a, a scheme and a plan on how we were going to come out of this. And we've done it with a new record, which will be coming out later on uh, this year, mm -hmm. and a new single that came out the 3rd of June called uh, uh, SOS. And so we're just back to business as normal. Good. Maybe just you have to wear a mask sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. So, how does this new record sound and compare to what you did prior to the pandemic? I think everything that we've done as a band, from narrative, the very angsty, angry, very passionate, just emotionally driven music that was behind it, but it had this very angry tone to it. Mm -hmm. Whereas the the passion hasn't hasn't dissipated, and then American Sun, where you can still see that it it was less anger and more questioning why and how. How can we do this together? How can we unite? How can we? How can I tell the story that's going to make people understand that I understand you? But now with this new record, which I I, I won't talk, say the name or the release date, but I will say this: it's about think looking inside of oneself and saying despite the the hardships despite life and the best way to describe it is life will beat you to the ground sometimes life will fuck you up mm. but sometimes you've got to get mad and you have to fight back mm -hmm. good and that's just, that, that's the basic the ethos of this yeah. new uh, record good excellent and obviously the time in the studio for this record was probably a bit different due to, right, due I mean, to COVID yeah so we basically had a year to we, we took a year to, to like really work on it and craft the songs and be intentional. With, with American Sun, we did have time, but we tend to do things last minute mm -hmm. and we tend to, we like the pressure. We like that. We have to get into the studio. We, we, we lived in the studio where we were recording it. We, we woke up, showered, at, right into the, into the booth. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And so there was a high pressure, pressure situation. But with this record... Due to the pandemic, I was able to do Zoom sessions over the phone and, you know, just converse with the with producers and take the time and say, what do you want to say here? Like, yeah. there's an actual love song on this record, and we've never <laughs> written one of those. I've never written anything. I mean, I've written stuff like that. Everyone writes love poetry when you're a kid, don't you? <laughs> but your first breakup and all that sort of... But uh, there's an actual song where I, I address the idea of love within a relationship. I mean, Into the Blue Narrative was a bit like that, but that was angry and I was angry at an ex of mine so I wrote this really powerful song about it but this song in, in this record is like as I said is you got, we got time to reflect and I got time to think and I got time to say this is what I, what, what I want to say this is how we want to say it and this is the way we want to display it and show it and, and I love it that we had that time but I just wish American Sun which is I wish that that record really got its day in the sun so yeah. to speak yeah absolutely um, but now we're back playing yes. live. Yes. You've uh, got downloads. Yes. But once you finish here, obviously your fans will want to see you. So, so where can people see you kind of for the rest of the year? What have you got planned? We've got, um, we've got another tour in the States with Five Finger Death Punch, Megadeth, and uh, The Who. But the new videos, all the new content's going to be up there on the Instagrams, the Facebooks of the world, and the, the, the singles now available so you can get yeah. by anywhere. And then we've got London on Monday. 
in Islington Assembly with Daughtry. So that's another big... And I lived in Finsbury Park as a kid, so that's yeah. it's right around the corner. You know, so we're, we're looking... We're going to be involved, man. We're going to be out there, and you're going to see a lot of fire from the gods for the next 18 months or so. Yeah. Really working hard and just really getting back to what we do and doing it normally and doing it with the same passion that we've always had. Nothing's changed. Good. That's great to hear. So, 2023. Yes. What's in the mind at the moment as to, to what the plan is are you going to be releasing even more music are you writing in the studio touring what's, what's floating around it most likely will be on the road so I'm, I'm really hoping and looking to be uh, in the back in the UK EU doing shows on this new record comes out late uh, October mm-hmm. so that's a perfect time to just start planning on what 2023 yeah. is going to look like and I really do hope I mean download maybe you know or I, I was hoping uh, to be back around the summertime and really just get involved again and yeah. do more of the festivals in, in the EU and play more more um, club shows and club dates and hopefully come over maybe on our J's with, by ourselves or just come with um, with one of like the bigger bands that we, we really highly respect and that love us. I, mean, I know there's a lot of plans. I, I can't really say who, but there's a <laughs> lot of plans and so we will be back on the road. We will Good. be back. Good. Are you hoping to hit up anywhere that you haven't toured before? One thousand percent, man. And I mean, these are just dreams. But I would love to play like Indonesia and Malaysia, okay, and those yeah. mad festivals that they've got in uh, go and support Southeast the who. Asia. Go and support exactly, <laughs> exactly. But um, you know, I'd I'd really love to to get back into Ireland. We played in Dublin, and the the crowd just went mad for it. Mm-hmm. You know, hopefully this mess in Eastern Europe clears up because I wouldn't mind playing in the Ukraine I wouldn't mind playing in uh, Russia's another story but you know what I mean we'll but, run that off the list of the moment exactly yeah <laughs> exactly They're, but I do want I just want to get back and, and spread this message spread this message of love spread this message of peace spread this message of perseverance and overcoming the obstacles that life presents to you because yeah. that's the most important aspect of our music it's the message yeah good AJ nice for me thank you it's been a pleasure yes brother thank you very much safe Cheers. man <laughs>